Um, I was trying to make some rock storm, but I guess I just made the rock a little bit big. Hello guys and welcome back to this week update. Today we're gonna see caves, uh, which is something that I wanted to do since the first day of this journey. So I really enjoyed it, even though this is just the beginning and I will have to do a lot of work to make them look better. But that's not the only thing I worked on this week. I also started modeling a new type of island, which you can see over there. It's completely made of rock and I'm not gonna talk about it in this devlog just because it's not ready yet but uh, maybe and hopefully in the next one. So the cave here is just a static mesh. I'm planning on making different variants of it. So while uh, the best thing would be to have them dynamically generated, but I don't know much about dynamic generated meshes yet. So yeah, I will stick with this for now. Well, to show it from the outside, I made the island completely out of glass. So you can see how it's distributed. It's pretty simple because it's just a starting point and hopefully the next one will be more complex. Before we get into it, let me do what my mom did a few years ago and put a cave object spawner, fill it with some stuff, make it night and yeah, we should be ready to go. You can finally see that the quartz is in the place where it belongs to. <laughs> Good boy. I also modeled some copper that you can find in the cave and some lithium as well for the energy cells and now I can finally craft one since I got all the materials needed and with the wind system of the previous dialogue, the wind turbine is finally ready. As you can tell, it's a bit empty inside because uh, I still have to make some decoration assets like plants and rocks. And I'm planning also on making some more types of minerals because I have a lot of electronics and mechanics involved in crafting like, I don't know, the power generators and they will need mineral based components. So this is the part that I prefer because you arrive here, you think that the cave is finished or almost, instead you just found the biggest place. Well, personally, what I enjoy in games are unexpected things. Um, anyway, at this point, I thought that it was too easy and not really random enough to have materials spreading here and there, ready to be used, you just have to pick them up. So I made them in ore form. So you have to use a pickaxe before they spawn you something and to add even more randomness, it could spawn up to three pieces. So I quickly set up a pickaxe, uh, an animation for it. And if I pickaxe it, uh, well, this is a bug. This is definitely not luck. <laughs> I know the model's animation and everything looks kind of bad, but I'm not really focusing on making stuff look good right now. So yeah, it's okay. I really find pickaxing this thing relaxing and I could easily spend one entire day in here. I mean, they just look like rock pimples. I mean, I don't know why. You know what? I could make a build just for bursting these things. Uh, tell me in the comments if you would play it. Because if yes, uh, we will burst these things all together. Uh, all right, at the end of the day, finally, I'm able to craft some stuff. You can see that with some glass obtained from the quartz and with some copper as well, I can craft a binocular and a torch. While an energy cell is craftable with some lithium and copper. Uh, now I got a bunch of ores here and this is my script to make them spawn up to three objects. I'm still wondering if I should include the zero so that it could give you nothing or not. I don't know, let me know what you think. And here are some attempts. Uh, so right now I'm getting like one piece per ore, uh, that's because it's the highest percentage. And for example, looting three pieces is very low in chance, like it's 2%, so one every 50 pieces. As you can see, the higher probability is to loot only one piece. The chance that it gives you nothing is also low. I don't remember exactly how much, but I will put it in here. I'm not sure if it's gonna be the same for the lithium, and all the other minerals. I don't know, I will, uh, this is something that I will figure out when I will test the game and, you know, balancing stuff. So yeah, this is it. Unfortunately, we are at the end of this video. I have no more stuff to show for today. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.